Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. I'm gonna, I'm, I will, I had all intentions to draw an ice cream, um, but I'm gonna paint an ice cream instead. <laughs> so, paint, ice cream. Uh, this morning I'm gonna paint some ice cream. I'm gonna draw it first, and then I'm gonna paint on it, and um, sometimes I just feel like painting. Uh, it's a really pretty simple drawing, so if you're just doing the drawing, it's pretty, it's pretty lovely. And you can change it up, of course, any way you want. And then if you're doing with paint, um, it basically follows the same format, darks before lights. So I'm gonna draw it for you guys. So I'm gonna start out, I'm gonna work with a violet. I've been really into my violets lately. And I'm gonna draw the cone, which is a V. And I'm gonna curve out the top, like that. And then I'm gonna just give myself a little guideline so it, um, I don't get too far off topic here. Off, well, not topic, but it doesn't, you know, end up being all weird. <laughs> Weird weirdness prevention. So I'm gonna just kind of give myself like a. I know I'm gonna end here, and I'm gonna kind of give myself like a mountain shape. So now I'm gonna aim to stay within you know the boundaries of this little like mountain on top. And then what I'm gonna do is quickly delineate. Now when I'm doing this, I keep it really really light because once I start putting in the paint, it's really hard to go back. So I do it very very lightly in um, the pencil. Um, so I, n I know where to go. Now the thing with painting with watercolors or anything close to watercolors is you're going to want to leave um, the whites as being your white. You can go back. Some people put white onto it, but um, I don't. <laughs> so because of that, I have to think about where my whites are going to be and make sure I don't do that. And that's why I draw I draw into my watercolors. Not every Some people go straight into watercolors. They're braver than I which is pretty awesome. Maybe one day. There's an artist called Munakata, and he um, would just do block carvings with, like, nothing. It was awesome. I love, uh, I watched a video of him once. It was amazing. And, or I saw pictures. One or the other. Either way, I saw the process, and it was really fast, and he just carved, which is so cool. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just do the curve here. And then I'm not going to really put in um, the little... Uh, waffle coney thing, <laughs> waffle coney thing, that's the technical term, until I'm at the end, but I may give myself some guidelines to just kind of have an idea of where they go. So I'm just going to make some curved lines, just quickly. I don't want it to be painful. It should always feel good when you're working. If it's not feeling good, you got to change it up. Okay, and that's pretty much it for my sketch underneath. The next thing I'm going to do is the color. Now, um, when I talk to my kids about what they like watching, they said they don't think it's fair when someone miss, like skips steps and they don't show you how they did the whole process. So I am going to show you the whole process. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it on fast forward so you're not um, falling asleep. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, guys, I think that's it. I could quick about working on this, but um, I would probably end it there. It's, um, it's so much fun to do. I love it. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.